We meet in the presence of God, who knows our needs, hears our cries, feels our pain and heals our wounds. Welcome to St Leonard's Lexden for this annual commemoration of the departed, a service when we remember. Some of you may have been uh, sent in the post uh, a candle that you can light later on in this short service. But first, we're going to pray. God of time and space, in your hands you hold all that you have made. You breathe life into all creation and without you there is no life for our lives are hidden in you. As we remember those we have loved, people of your creating and saving, help us to believe that none are forgotten by you and grant us the comfort of your peace through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. When we remember those who have died, it can bring back a, a range of emotions. We may be carrying regrets or guilt. These next prayers allow us to put these burdens down in front of God and to know God's forgiveness. And so we pray. For the hurt we have done in the past, we seek forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. For the hurt we do now, we seek forgiveness. Christ, have mercy. For the sins of the church and the world, which get in the way of the love Christ has promised, we seek forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. May God, our Father, forgive us our sins and bring us to the eternal joy of his kingdom, where dust and ashes have no dominion. Amen. Our Bible reading is taken from the book of Revelation. It's a reassuring and hopeful vision of what God finally intends for his creation, including us and those we love. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples. And God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. In these long months of pandemic, every one of us has had to learn something about the pain of separation. All who've ever loved a lost one know this pain already. But the enforced separation uh, during illness or, or times of mourning that COVID has brought about has been particularly difficult for many to bear. Now, while none of us would wish this uh, situation it has provided a small opportunity to see love still at work, uh, even in incredibly challenging circumstances. You may well know the verses in the Bible where the Apostle Paul uh, writes that he is convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us 
from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. He's saying that there is a love, a perfect love, that can overcome any separation in life and death. So amid the sadness of this year, we must hold on to the glimpses of love that we have been given. We must cherish and honour the love we have experienced from those that we commemorate this night. We must cherish and honour the love we have experienced from others in our mourning and in those times around our loved one's death. For some, this time of year, of course, does not summon memories of love, but memories of an absence of love and of pain. And if this is how you feel, then take comfort from Paul's words also, because they are a reassurance that those who have not yet experienced the love that God would want for us, for you, will finally experience it in Jesus and will never be separated from it. Whether you're uh, watching us light our candles here at St Leonard's or lighting your own candle at home, let the light of that candle tell you a very simple and beautiful story that in the end light overcomes darkness, that hope defeats despair, that God really will wipe away every tear from our eyes and see that death will be no more, that mourning and crying will be no more, that love really is stronger than death. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to God the Father. God of grace and power, send your Holy Spirit among us that we may hear your promises and know them to be true and so receive the comfort and peace they bring. We give thanks for those who have died, for lives that touched us, for all those memories we treasure. Lord of the loving, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for the gift of life, for families and friends, for all human relationships and the strength that we draw from each other. Have compassion on all who grieve deeply this night. Casting their cares on you, may they know the gentleness of your presence and the consolation of your love. Lord of the bereaved, hear our prayer. We remember all for whom this season rekindles memories of grief untimely born. Loving God, the certain hope of resurrection to eternal life, we commend to you all who have lost loved ones in circumstances of tragedy. We hold before you also all who have been affected by the COVID pandemic, the pain of enforced separation of plans unfulfilled of isolation and fear give them comfort renew their faith and strengthen them in the weeks and months ahead lord of the brokenhearted hear our prayer Confident in the love and mercy of God, holding a living faith in God's mighty resurrection power, we join one another and the saints of heaven as we say together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen We now commemorate the departed by lighting a candle from our Paschal or Easter candle. This candle is used at every baptism and funeral in St Leonard's and it's a central part of our celebrations at Christmas and um, at Easter. The candlelight, of course, symbolises uh, Jesus' resurrection as a promise that love is stronger than death, that there is no darkness that can overcome or extinguish uh, the light of God's love. If you have your candle at home, now is a good time uh, to light it. And then say out loud the names of those you might want to remember or hold their names in your heart and as we hear some music uh, I'm going to read the names of those for whom the St Leonard's team has held funerals over the past uh, two years
among those we remember are Tim Soames, Tony Christie, Matthew Wisdom, James Hagen, Joan Abbott, Joy Woods, Dennis and Mary Cook, Jean Loxley, Aileen Richardson, Brian Dade, Steve Hendy, Bob Potter, Sidney Henson, Tony Fleming, Hilary Cowie, Rosemary Oast, Ron Golding, John Webb, Daphne Gould, Elsie Spence, Barbara Hickman, Jacqueline Calpin, Keith Adams, Sylvia Francis, Muriel Pudney, Patricia Ely, Jeanette Reason, Isabel Feast, Eileen Merchant, Margaret Hosford, Grace Moxon, Katrina Reed, Anne Humphreys, Joan Richardson, Martin Crafer, Sue Rothman, Joyce Allen, Kate Weir, Molly Giles, Edna Alexander, Margaret Snell, Deborah Bolacki. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant with your saints, where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sighing, but life everlasting. Creator and maker of humanity, you only are immortal, and we are mortal, formed of the earth, and to the earth we shall return. For so you did ordain when you created us, saying, Dust thou art, and unto dust thou shalt return. All we go down to the dust, and weeping o'er the grave we make our song. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant with your saints, where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sighing, but life everlasting. May Christ, who makes saints of sinners, who has transformed those we remember this day, raise and strengthen you, that you may transform the world. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you, with those whom you love, and those for whom you pray, this day and always. Amen. <laughs>